Hello and welcome. My name is Brett and today I'm here to demonstrate for you the Strong Tech balance board. Now this is a great egg-shaped balance board to make your life standing at a desk and your core strength and stability that much better and more comfortable. This is going to help increase circulation and reduce fatigue. It's going to allow you to focus a little bit better because you can keep your movement and studies have shown that this helps dramatically increase your ability to focus and reduce your fatigue. So cool board, nice metallic design on this one and a nice foam PU padding here that works great in shoes or as I'm going to do today without shoes. Either way is really comfortable. It's anti-slip surface, has a nice handle so that you can take it around with you and as I'm going to demonstrate today, do some exercises with or without the desk. The board is constructed with natural hardwoods and rubber and is a great way to help your core strength help you stabilize and help you focus and get more done. So first off, let's set this down on the mat. And let's just step on it to get used to it. So you step on one side first and then you bring your other foot up and then just kind of play with it a little bit. Feel it out, get used to the movement of it. This is a side to side egg shape. It's got plenty of distance for hip width apart, keeping your feet nice and nice and stabilized. We got a little bend in our knees and we can just get used to the board just like this. And this would be a great way to just be able to stand at that desk, type away, stay focused and reduce the fatigue. The, the PU padding is nice and soft. It works great. It's non non slip. So you're not going to you're not going to lose your footing in any way. I feel really solid here, even in my bare feet. So with shoes on, same thing. It's going to have a nice stick to it and keep you standing and give you a little bit of movement so that you're not just locking out your legs at your desk all day long. So that's a great way to get started. And then we can take this a step further. If we want to do some movement with this, we can go ahead from this position, hip width apart, go into a squat. They don't have to be super deep but we let our glutes go back and then we can squeeze and bring them together. This is gonna force all my muscles to stabilize, to keep even balance between my two feet. I'm keeping the balance between the balls of my feet and my heels and just allowing it to focus the muscles to stabilize my core, to stay in place, to keep the balance between the two feet as I go up and down. Great way to increase the stability of your squats, asking all those little stabilizer muscles to engage and asking your core to stay tight to keep the balance between your two feet. Now, from here, we can do other exercises just on one foot. We can raise one, and again, it's just the slightest amount of instability there, and I like to play with it a little bit, try and get it to rock a little side to side on one foot. Again, increasing our core strength and really helping out the stability of our ankle muscles as well. So we'll go ahead and do the other foot, keep things balanced. Again, I try to play with a little side to side action. And you can do the same thing, but in a forward to back so that we stabilize the muscles going this way. Again, just one foot. Try and get the board to rock a little. Great. Now we can do the same thing in a lunge position. So we can have it right there. And there's no slipping going on. You can see I can really put some torque into this. There's no slipping going on on the mat. It's nice and solid with the rubber base. And you can just do small lunges here. Again, keeping the stability. Now, you can turn it and do the same thing we did before and work on front to back stability at the same time. And that one really engages it a little bit. You'd be surprised what it does there for the quads, really bringing them into engagement. 
straight down, keeping that knee behind the toes and straight back up. That is a really great addition to the lunges. Now, we can also work on planks with this. So we can take the board and for the plank, we'll utilize it in a side to side motion. And we can start off just on our hands here and one foot back and then bring the other foot back. And you'll see, now I've got to stabilize between one side and the other. I got to keep the weight of my hands really balanced. Now you can just hold this plank, keep those shoulder blades rolled down and back, engage the core, engage the glutes. And you can just hold this for a great core and shoulder workout, or we can take it a step further and do some push-ups. Again, just adding an element of instability in there is gonna ask the little stabilizer muscles to engage a little bit more, ask your core to engage a little bit more, and that can make a big difference in what are otherwise ordinary everyday movements. So, again, the board is great on the mat, but we can also utilize it off the mat on any tile or floor surface, and it's not gonna mark up the floor. And again, same great stability, but now we can get a little twist action into this. And so we can have fun working the core in a twisting motion. We can also work on a walk. So you can raise one side, tilt to the other side, twist back, twist, twist. So you can actually walk along the floor forward and back. Whoop. <laughs> kind of like a little surfing action, but again, a great way to engage the core, work on your balance, work on your core stability, and have a little fun at the same time. Thank you for joining me today for this demonstration of how to use your Strong Tech egg-shaped balance board with antique metallic finish. It's been my pleasure to demonstrate some of these movements. Be creative with it, have fun with it, utilize it so that you have better core strength, less fatigue, and more focus throughout your days.